Alrighty guys, welcome, welcome one and all. Thanks for watching. This is your host, ID Jester. We're going to be playing Thunderstone Quest. This is going to be the start of the campaign. Scenario number one. This is going to be a mirror in the dark. The dark rumblings. So, uh, you can see here. Whatever quest booklet from uh, Thunderstone Quest, obviously, gives you some information about how everything's set up. And then, of course, here is our chapter. And we're going to start with this setup right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to read this all. But I was hoping that maybe uh, maybe you guys could read it a little bit. Zoom in a little bit on it. Anyways, we have um, Hawkswood, Florian, Silverhelm, Stormhand, the Gem of Healing, the Tomb of Knowledge, Fireball, Future Vision, Magic Missile, Hammer, Short Bowl, Short Sword, and then monsters are going to be the Goblin Grunts, the Hobgoblin Brutes, and the Ancient Adventurers. The Guardian is going to be Smorga the Queen. So, anyways, uh, we're going to be doing this solo. So, playing solo, there's no real competitive uh, nature to this. You can just sit back and relax a little bit. And so, I wanted to try it and see... How it went with just solo mode and uh, how much fun it was I hear it's a lot of fun to play through the campaign solo um, you know because you don't have the pressure of you know competing you can just sit back relax and enjoy the playing the game so we're gonna try that and see how it goes see obviously we have the wilderness with the abandoned castle which has no effect on it we have the mine, we have the sunken whale, the crypt, the throne room, and the vault. Uh, of all of those locations, these two down here, this one and this one, have got special abilities. Unless you have a rogue, discard one random card when you move into this room. And this one here, the crypt, unless you have a rogue, discard one gear token after moving into this room. So it looks like we're going to need at least a couple rogues to get that done. All right. So I've got my little uh, player mat up here. Just kind of covering that. Um, I'm not sure, but everything should be shuffled and ready to go. I actually, uh, for the Arcane Wonder deck, I've got that here. So it's just out of the way so I can place my cards down here. So, uh, make things a little easier. All right. Six. Let's get things on the way and see how we go. So, we got a couple adventurers, a lantern, thunderstone shard, and an adventurer with a dagger. Which is interesting, because the lantern... After you complete a, a village phase, you may take a dungeon phase. If you do, you may not move out of the wilderness. So we can go over there for free and basically kill off one of those enemies. We have two, four, five money. Five money. Which, uh, yeah, five money. Hmm. So, my short bow. Short bow, uh, plus one for L's, minus one uh, strength for rogues. She's an elf and a rogue. That'd be nice. So the short bow actually is normally a four skill. She only has a three skill, but because she's an elf, she gets a minus one, so she could use this bow. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to buy that for five. Let's try that. So one, two, three, four, five. And then because we have the lantern, 
we're going to go in one, two, three, four. Kill off the giant rat. Come here, you. Come here, you dirty rat. So it's just a value of four and spoils. You may level up one of your zero heroes and ignore the XP cost. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to level up one of our heroes. So that'll go out of the game. And you know what? Let's get a rogue. All right. Turn one. Done. In the books. Let's go to turn two. And turn two, very much like turn one. As a matter of fact, we have the exact, exact same hand. Two, four, five. <clears throat> we have four attack. I think we might do the exact same thing as well. So we're going to get a bow for five. We're going to go kill for this. Bring in Hawkswood. And that is turn number two. All right. Actually, we could have gone in after the Goblin Potion, uh, potion Tester. Might be worth doing. We need to get some magic to defeat that Goblin Warrior, though. He's going to be a problem. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Because he's got, what, three? Three... Physical defense. And minus one for each wielded edged weapon. Hmm. Yeah, he's definitely going to be a pain. One, two, three, four, five, six. We would have enough if these guys were strong enough to hold the bow, but they're not. That's kind of a bummer. We once again have two, three, four, five. We have five. Hmm. We can upgrade one of our guys for free when we go to village now, which is kind of nice. Oh, we actually have. <laughs> We got the same combo again, two, four, five, with the lantern. Hmm. I think this time what we're going to do is. We're going to buy the Tomb of Knowledge for five. We can destroy this to level up one hero, paying no experience points. We're going to buy that for five. Oh, yes, I guess we should be moving our character around. Um... Yeah. So that's five. Now the question is, we have one. We only have four attack because nobody's strong enough to use the bow. Maybe what I should do is actually buy some, some bread. Buy some bread. It gives everyone plus two. Then they would be strong enough. Although... We do have an adventurer and a dagger, which means we could draw a card if we go to fight this guy, but we would only have four unless we drew either another adventurer or this. So, you know what? We're going to go defeat the rat again. I'm going to level this guy up. And this time I'm going to level him up into Stormhand, the dwarf fighter. All right, and that's that.
All right, let's see what we get this time. You can uh, draw a card. Okay, so we got this combo. So that is going to be one, two, three, four, five. I uh, know we need somebody to wheel him. Damn. So that's four. Money-wise, we're loaded. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, my gosh. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten money. Ten money. And we got, uh, we got new wounds to draw cards. Hmm. Bummer, we can't upgrade anybody then. Ten money, though. Well, we're going to buy a fireball for eight, and I think, uh, oops, shit, come here, I was looking at the prices, uh, do, 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 do. The bread is too, so yeah, we're gonna buy a bread. All right, so we got a fireball, three magic, and it works really well, obviously, with the wizard. One, two. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. Let's see what we got now. Oh, should put that up there. All right. Oh, we got all, oh my gosh, we got a lot of good things here. So, we got two, two, two. And this can we do to do so we're gonna have three four five six plus we can draw a card so this time we're gonna go after the goblin potion tester three four five six plus draw a card Two, three, four, five. Hmm. Hmm. We could risk going after the Goblin Warrior, but, uh, yeah, you know what? No. Doesn't make sense. So we got Stormhand holding a dagger. We got, uh, Adventurer holding a dagger, which means we can draw a card. And we got a Lantern. So then we got a Hawksmoor. So that's three, four, five, six, and that'll defeat our goblin potion tester. Uh, two experience points and a bottle of healing potion and two experience points. All right. So that's done. We got a Goblin Berserker that joins now. Okie dokie. Oh, this guy's actually four plus one. He's a five. We're going to need... Not much this time. Two, four, six, seven money though. That's good because 
we're going to level our adventurer up. And he is going to go into... And it's going to cost us one XP. We're going to upgrade him into... I think we're going to... Mm, he, she's the cheapest. We can possibly buy her. Two, four, six, seven. So upgrade. We'll upgrade him into Storm Hand. And then we're going to... What do we end up with? Two, four, six, seven. Yep, I think we're going to buy the wizard. We're going to buy the wizard. Alright. One, two, three. Should be able to take down a few of these knuckleheads. Four, five, six. All right. Oh, we got our combo there. And, oh, we got our combo there. And we can destroy this to level up a hero paying no money. All right. We're going to the dungeon. So this is actually going to be three, four, five, six, seven. Plus we draw a card. Hmm. Uh, actually we could. Oh, that's a spoils award. Okay. Hmm. So we need to defeat something to get the spoil. Ah, bummer. Hmm. Well, we got plenty to defeat the Goblin Berserker. The question is, do we want... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's got a life value of eight, and it blocks three physical damage. But if we were to draw one more card that would do physical damage, we could still beat that Goblin Warrior. Bam. Hmm. No, I think we'll just we'll go easy. There's four, five, six, seven. We'll go ahead and defeat the Goblin Berserker. Actually, oh, he's a seven plus one. He'd be an eight. So that's going to give us two wounds, unfortunately. And two experience points. Uh, but we are going to get a treasure card as a reward. And that's cool. Oh, and we found the key. The orange key. So treasure is... When we draw this, destroy it to gain 3 XP. Alright. And then we're going to use our spoil, destroy this to level up a hero. So we're going to... Upgrade this hero into into I think we're gonna go with the wizard again. Nope, you know what? We're not gonna go with the wizard again. We're gonna go with another storm hand here. All right, so now we just have a Goblin Warrior to defeat. Uh, yeah, the guy gave us treasure and two XP, right, okay. 
Where's our spell? I could have sworn we bought a spell. Uh, the dwarf can hold the bow. Doesn't get the bow to damage. But that is four. Five. Uh, if you have a wound, draw a card. If you have a wound, draw a card. So we will do that. Oh, we got plenty to go and kick some ass now. Mm-mm-mm. Can't take any more wounds or we'll go down. Uh, so that's going to be four attack. Five, six, seven, eight attack. Uh, and one light. So we could actually go and fight the Hobgoblin Soldier. Nope, we can't. Discard a hero with the fight before the battle started, which means we wouldn't have enough to defeat him then. Damn. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh-huh. Well, we have any light. We don't need light to get in there. We could go after this guy, the Hobgoblin Scrapper. Unless you have a rogue, discard one gear token. We d Oh, actually, we don't have a gear rogue. Means we'd have to discard a gear token. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? That's fine. We'll get rid of our bread. We're going to go after the Hobgoblin Scrapper. Uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, eight damage. It does one wound plus one wound. Actually, that's going to be two wounds. Ouch. Uh... We're going to get three XP. Oh. Three XP and a treasure again. All right. I like you see treasure. We get the Dire Wolf Master. Destroy a spell or a wizard. Uh oh. Not liking that. All right. Um, did we did not have any upgrades or anything? Okay. This time we're only drawing four cards, though. Oh, one, two, three. Looks like we're headed back to town. Ah, uh, Greg, uh, Jason, I'm going to purchase Wilson. I watched you play it and got me. <laughs> it's a good game. It's a good game. Definitely a good game. Looks great. Plays really good. We only have uh, four cards, though. So probably headed back to the old... There's our spell. Uh, we are going back... to town and we're going to go ahead and heal two wounds we're going to go to the temple two three four is all we have to buy Four is all we have to buy. Oh, I also may place 
any cards back on top of my deck. So I'm going to place my fireball back on top of that because I don't need it. It still gives us four money. And... Hmm... Four money's not a lot to buy anything. Place one card on top of your deck. If you have a cleric or wizard, you have plus one hit points. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I think we'll buy the short sword. That's fine. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what we got this time. Oh, we got the we got the wizard with the fireball. We got the hawkswood with the short bow. And we have two light actually, so that is gonna be good. So she gets plus one if she has a spell. And it's not arcane. So that would be three. She would be five. And this combo is two plus two is four. So that's nine damage right there. 10, 11, 12. We could do up to 12 damage. Bring it. And we have two light. Fireball and the Hawkswood. Hmm. Twelve damage. And we have a rogue, so we could go in. Damn. Cost us one light there. Two light to get down here. We can go after that guy, but we don't have three light. We only have two. Bummer. Alright, I think we will move into the dungeon. Oh, we don't want to go after the dire wolf master. Not right now. Hmm. We got to destroy a spell or a wizard. That would be. That'd be bad. So, yeah, we'll go after the hobgoblin sergeant. That is fine. We got 12 attack. He is an eight. Unfortunately, we're going to take two wounds again. Uh, do we have anything that will help us with that? We do not. But we'll get four XP. We're gonna, oh my gosh, we got XP out the young zoo. Maybe we should have just... How many? Four? Well, we definitely need to go spend some of this. We are loaded with XP. Uh, and we get a lantern. Wow. Oh, actually, we get two lanterns. One for his card and one for the, the actual room. So, Hobgoblin Sergeant... See you later, alligator. Let's see what comes in now. Oh, the old key. Well, isn't this fortunate? Let's see if we can... Oh, no. Dire Wolf Rider. Destroy the human hero with the highest level. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Let's see what we get here. 
Uh, wait, first of all, we can only draw four cards. Put these back. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Ah, uh, we only got one guy. Hmm. All right, we're going to move back to the temple. Get to heal two wounds. And then we're going to... Five to purchase. We're going to get the old gem of healing. Need to start getting some healing. Five to purchase. Now we will destroy this card to level up a hero. So we're going to destroy our level one hero. And destroy that. To get a level two hero. And we're done. One, two, three, four. This time we're up to five cards. Five. Hopefully I get a lot of heroes because we got a lot of XP. We can level them up. I got one stinking hero. Are you bully? I think you're already already you're all hunting and it's <sighs> Two, four, six, seven, though. That's a nice number. So we will get rid of the hit points. Our wound, I guess I should say. And we'll level this guy up for one. Is that all it takes is one? Good Lord. Uh, two, four, six, seven. Seven. Uh, yeah, we better get this guy for some healing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're back up to full now. Oh, two heroes, that's it, really. Hmm. 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 We only have an attack of five, which would be enough to take out the goblin. Uh, we will go after the goblin. No, we will not. We're going to need a lot more attack than that, aren't we? Yes, we are. Well, uh, we have to decide where we're going. Um, hmm, where are we going to go? These guys with their three physical defense are going to be really a pain in the butt. And minus one for each wielded edge weapon. So actually, it would be four. We would have one edged weapon. That'd be four, five, six, three, four, five. Oh, we're so close. So close. Hmm. Well, we do have a gem of healing. Village or dungeon, heal wound to draw a card. So we're going after this guy right there. And we're going to point this, heal wound, draw a card. Come on, baby. Oh, good. And that is that. So. A 
Oh, actually, I should have played this first. Right? Right? Uh, playing the Thunderstone shard if you have one or more wounds, draw a card. And then play this to remove a wound to draw a card. So now we're going to have plenty to beat this guy down. We have three, four, and because this is an edged weapon, his physical defense goes down by one. And is this an edged weapon? It is. Actually, our little adventurer and his dagger knocks it down by another one. So actually, he's only got a physical resistance of one. So four, five is all we need. And you can see we got three, four, five, six, seven. Plenty to kill off a goblin warrior and gave us a key. Uh, what do we get? Three. Three XP, which we don't really need because for some reason we're just loaded in XP. Um, and a bread. And nothing for the room. Okay. And we're one, two, three, four, five. Daniel, what's going on? Nice to see this on the table. I may have to get this out this weekend. Yep. You should. You should try it out. I'm playing solo. So I don't have to mess around with trying to competitive, just relaxing and playing the game, enjoying it. So we're going to try that and see how it goes. Let's see how we're doing. Oh my gosh, we got our sorcerer with the fireball again. We got our hawks, hawkswood with our short bow again. This is going to be super dangerous to the enemies, that is. So that would be three, four, five. And four is nine, ten. I would have an 11 attack. 11 attack. Destroy the human hero with the highest. Well, that's a dwarf. That's an elf. Oh, that's a human. That would suck. With the highest cost. Well, she's only a one cost. But we could get the key. If we lost her, we could still use the spell, though. So it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's an eight plus one. He's a nine. We could still destroy him. All right. Well, we lost our hero. Who? She sacrificed herself for the good of the team. And we got the yellow key. So we got the orange key and the yellow key now. Uh, so we took a hit point, one wound, five XP. I guess, you know what? We're just going to make these white ones five XP because, like, Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we earn five. So give me another white one. So we took out ten. That's crazy. I guess we got to get some better heroes out. We have fifteen. We got actually 20 XP sitting there in the, uh, and a lantern, yay. Which means we might be able to go after this asshole. Next. All right, if we want. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, let's see here. We got plenty of light. Do we have enough attack is the question. Three, four, five, six. We do not. Oops. Uh, let's get out another thing here. We can upgrade him to level three. Upgrade this guy to level two might be a good idea. All right, so we're going to go back to town, which will heal a wound. And we're going to go to the guild corner so we can upgrade two of our heroes. Upgrade these two. Get a level three. And a level two. And that's going to cost us, what, three, four, five XP? Sure. We got plenty. We got plenty. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, what do we have here? We got uh, some more upgrades, I think. Um, oh, I forgot to actually, like... <laughs> I did all the upgrading, but I forgot to buy with our money. Damn it. So we got five money here. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy another short bow. We're going to go to the guild corner so we can upgrade two heroes. She's going to level two. And he's going to level two. All right. One. Now we got some power. We got some powerful heroes coming back through the deck now. Now it's... It's on like Donkey Kong. I think we need uh, two more keys because we're playing solo. And they're going to both be in this deck. So we need to get down to the level three dungeon. Um, this should not be in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got plenty of light up there if we need it. Wow, we literally did not get anything. We got a lot of money. Two, four, six, eight, nine. And a hero, which will go ahead and upgrade. Nine money. Nine money, and he'll go up to level three. Nine bucks. I think we're going to buy another fireball. Fireball. All right. Let's see if we can. Oh, that uh, upgrade cost us three XP, didn't it? And I'm going to. Assume I forgot one other time and I'll give five back. So I'm sure that's more than I forgot. Oh my God, look at all the heroes now. Good Lord. It's time to beat somebody's ass. Uh, right there. We don't have any magic, so his magic resistance sucks. Unless you have a rogue, which we do, we would discard a random card. Let's calculate how much this attack is going to be worth. Four. Five. Six. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we get to draw a card because of that combo. Oh, 12, 13, 14. He would block all he would block all of it anyways. But even without that, we have enough to kill off Carthos the Sorcerer. Um after battle, place your champion in the zero row. So Carthos she gives us two wounds, not very nice. Uh seven XP, are you kidding me? Well, okay. And a treasure. That was a power move right there. Killing Carthos off. Alfarinia, the ranger. Uh, plus two for each of your human heroes to fight against him. Um... What was I doing? Right. Oh, we're only going to drive five cards this time. Five cards. Bummer. Ah, we got a good combo again, though. And this guy can hold the bow. So that is going to be two, three, four. And four is eight attack. And um, he is a dwarf, and he is an elf, which means we have no humans. We can go after this guy right here. And we have a rogue, which means we don't need to discard. So I think we're going right back. It's going to cost us three light. We have one light, and we'll discard two more light. And we have, again, one, two, three, four, because she's an elf. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And he's a dwarf and an elf, so no, no problem fighting this guy. And, ooh, we're going to take two more wounds. Six more experience points. That's way too many experience points. And it's, oh, well, we forgot to draw a treasure from the last guy we killed. Treasure from the last guy was, oh, gain three more XP. And then the treasure from this guy is the Stormland Mirror. You have plus one hit point, village or dungeon after the, tenor, the turn ends. Take an extra turn and destroy this card. Right, well, that's great if you're playing with multi-people, but... If you're not, doesn't matter. No, oh, Kathos is back. We killed him once. We need to go kill him again. He didn't last long the last time we were. He's that magic. He likes to resist the magic. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think we're going to have to head back to town. Yeah, we got nothing this time. We don't even have a hero in our hand. Not a single hero. All right, we're going to go back to town. Maybe to the temple. Uh, if you have one or more wounds, draw a card. Yes. Uh, heal wound and draw a card. Okay, thank you. All right, so this is going to be two, four, six, seven bucks again. And we can't upgrade anybody because we don't have anybody to upgrade. Seven bucks. Hmm, I want to get my wizard back. We lost our wizard. I'm going to buy her back. Um, oh, and we should have healed a, a thing. So we're at least we're at five. Actually, we could have went here. So we could have double healed. But that still only lets us draw five. 
Um, we actually have an adventurer that's still waiting to upgrade. This time we're going to go to the gill hole because we're going to upgrade again. Uh, so we're going to upgrade her and our adventurer. Adventurer is going to grow up to be a big boy and be a wizard. And this guy is upgrading to level two. And that's going to cost me, what, three XP? And we can only heal one wound because we didn't go to the temple. What about money? What do we have? Three bucks. All right, we'll buy a hammer for three bucks. And now we can get back to six cards. Let's go kill Kethos again. Oh, yeah. That's four damage. That is eight damage. Mmm, we don't have enough heroes. Alright, well we have two, four, six, seven bucks. We're gonna go ahead and use the guild hole guild hall again. We'll go ahead and get our last heal. Upgrade this guy and this guy. He's going to level three. He's going to level two. And that's gonna cost us five. And we had seven bucks to spend. Yeah. We got another storm hand. One, two, three, four. All right, we should be primed and ready this time to go through this. Five, six. Let's see what we got. Plus one hit point. I don't get plus one hit point. Okay, whatever. Okay, we got a good combo again. This time it's worth five. And six. That's 11 damage and we have a rogue which means and it's all physical damage no magic whatsoever so once again Kith <laughs> Kathos you didn't do so good Kathos the sorcerer undead ancient adventurer you didn't do so good no he does damages for two just two we get seven XP and a treasure, let's not forget it this time. Oh, okay. Uh, destroy to level a hero. Uh, let's see, he's already level three. Uh, I guess we'll just level her up to level three. That goes out. Oh, and uh, that's right, we got to move over there. I'm a new card. Samuel the Clerk. We only had four cards, and we had, uh, what was it, four, five, six, and actually six and six damage. That's 11. All right. Let's see what uh, Samuel the Clerk has to say. Discard one card for each of your wounds. Ooh, that's not good. All right, well, our...
Well, I got a guy that can get rid of her wounds. I may heal one or two wounds. When does that happen? Can I do that before we engage that guy? Because he's got a before battle. Discard one card for each weapon. Or for each wound you have, sorry. Um, let's see, the dwarf can hold a short sword. And our other guy can hold the bow. That's six damage. And 14 damage. Uh, fine. Uh, yeah, we'll go after Samuel. Uh, no, we can't actually go after Samuel because we don't have a rogue. We'd have to discard one card from random. Damn, what's the other guy do? Oh, right. We need three light as well. We have two light. We need three light to get down there. Hmm, if you have less than three light, destroy all your, yeah, hmm. Uh, it's fine. What we'll do is we'll just go after this guy. It's only one light. We have six and four. That's ten right there. He's only a nine. We'll take a wound. A wound from him. But we'll get a treasure, which is Gronard, the human rogue. At the end of the game, Gronard um, is equal to two plus one for each other treasure in your deck. Okay, so yeah, well, we're not keeping score, so it doesn't matter. We also get a lantern, three XP. And this guy's dead. Plus we get to stay there. Oh, there's the purple key. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe there's one in this deck and one in this deck. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to get to draw five cards. Uh, wait. Yes. Three, four, five. Oh, no, that's not true at all because... I had the guy that would, you may heal one or two wounds. So he's going to heal two wounds. Oh, plus, if I had a hero uh, wielding a weapon, I could have drawn a card, which I didn't do. But okay, doesn't matter. Guess I should read. So actually, we're going to get to draw six cards because that guy. Awesome. Oh, we got two fireball spells. A hammer and the dwarf go together pretty good. And we got a rogue. Hmm. We have a rogue. I think Samuel the Cleric is going to die this turn. Two, four, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen. And that is enough, even if we discard a card. So we will discard a card. Dagger. That is four, six, seven, eight, nine, and he would ten, eleven, twelve, but he blocks two magic. So it takes it from 12 down to 10. That's still enough to kill him. And we have a rogue. So I don't need to discard anything. So that is going to... Uh, oh, we got plenty of light. Three light. And Samuel's dead. Bye, Samuel. We do get two wounds, though. Five XP. Really? I don't know what I'm going to do with all this XP. I really don't. Like, I, I don't think I could spend enough. What is going on here? And a treasure. Oh, these, this 
Flying death and edge the weapon. It's too magic. You need six to use it though. Choose one monster with level three or lower. Cancel one before battle ability. Yeah, that'd be nice. All right, so this sends us back there. We get a new card here. We have to get this thing here. Shouldn't be long. We'll be able to kill this guy. Three. We can only draw five cards though. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go. Uh, if you have uh, if you have one or more wounds, draw a card. Oh, need to shuffle up our deck here. Hey, Deedles, what's going on? Love Thunder Quest. I just ordered. Draconius Invasion and the expansion. Looks like a game you'd love. Yep, I looked at that one. I actually have it in my cart, but I haven't hit the purchase button yet. So, we'll see. I might do that. Never know. So, draw a card. And then, uh, we got the Heal Wound to Draw a Card ability. Here we go. So, let's see what we end up getting here. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we got eight. We're going to go back to town. We're going to go to the temple. We're going to hire heal to... Uh, nope, we're not going to go to the temple. We're going to go to the guild hall. We're going to heal one. And then we're going to upgrade her and upgrade her. So two level twos, replacing our two level ones. And we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight money, right? So we're going to buy a, uh, that'll go great with our wizards we just purchased. And we're back up to drawing six cards now. Two, three, four, five, six. Yay, cruising right along. All right, it is time. Oh, we got the Flying Death. We need somebody that can... Nobody can hold it. Uh, yes, we can give him... We can use a bread on this guy to let him hold it. And we can cancel his before battle. Do we have a rogue? We do not have a rogue. God bless it. Well, let me think about this. Sure. We can discard this guy and still have plenty to kill the Hobgoblin Sergeant and get that other key. So, uh, yeah, where are we? Here we are. Boom. Hobgoblin. Discard a hero. We will discard our hero. We'll undo three, six, 79, 10, 11. We can't use this. 11 points of damage. He only does eight. We take two wounds, and we get four XP. I'm not even going to take it, because I don't care. And two lanterns. But more importantly, bloop, we got our purple key. We just need one more key now. And we had two lights. guess I should remember that. We only needed one to get there. All right. Oops, just five cards again because we're wounded. Wow, we got three weapons and no heroes. I guess two, four, five, six, seven. I guess we're going back to town. We'll go to the temple. We'll heal two wounds. Four, five, six, seven. We're going to buy another storm hand. Okay. So we are just literally one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Two bows. Oh, yes. Look at this. This is going to be excellent. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen attack. <laughs> and we got a rogue. So, Lib the Fighter, you are going to be dead <laughs> That's four plus one for the L. Five. Six is 11. 15, 17 damage. Yeah, he, he's he's gone. He's dead. He's He does give us two wounds, unfortunately. Six XP, which I'm not taking because... Ooh, we got the magic sword. All right, we'll take it as a reward. And we had two light. We only needed two light to move into there from here to there. All right, so now five cards. Oh, we got to get another card out. Venk, the rogue. Ah, if you have less than three light, destroy all your gear tokens. Oh, actually, we get sent back here after the battle, right? One, two, three, four, five, just five again. Ah. Uh. Well, this has been about worthless hand. Two, four, six, seven again, hmm? All right, going back to town, doing the temple thing, getting rid of two wounds, buying something for seven, which is another storm hand. Done. Get six cards again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fireball, fireball, short bow, storm hand, hawk's wood with that. And another storm hand. That is going to be a huge attack again. How much light do we have? Two, three, four light. Looks like this guy is going to have a bad day. Do we have a rogue? We do have a rogue. We have a level three rogue. That's five plus one is six. And... Three and three is another six. That's 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 17 damage. Venky, Venk, the rogue. We've got plenty of light. We would take two wounds. Uh, five XP, which I'm not even worried about. And another freaking treasure. Elmora, the wizard hero. Nice. Unfortunately, we get kicked back to the entrance again. Looking for this last. Just looking for the last key. Two, three, four, five, six. So we can defeat the guardian. Come on. Oh, there's our magic sword. And our dwarf can hold it and even. Look at that. Ugh. Oh, and look, we got our combo with our hawkswood with our bow. And then Silver Helm. Oh, wait. I should not have drawn. I can only drive five. One, two, three, four, five. Put that one back. Oh, no. You put the wrong one back, dummy. Hmm. Well, I still think we're coming here. So we have one, two light. We're going to spend a lantern. Bloop. To go. Bloop. One, two, three. And he's got seven. But he gets plus two for each human. We got an elf and a dwarf. And our dwarf is holding the firebrand sword. That's seven attack. And four attack is 11 attack. We can't even use this 11 attack. Goodbye. See you later. Two wounds. 
Ooh, now we're down to four. That's going to be a problem. Might have to go heal now. We'll get another treasure card. Boots of Speed! After you complete the village phase, you may take a dungeon phase. Gain one light for each rogue you have. Wow. All right. Let's send this back here. And treasure! Yes, there's our last treasure. Oh, there's actually two. Three keys! What the hell? This guy's holding all the keys. Oh, that's right, because I was going to play a two-player. So I put six in. I don't know why, but okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're drawing four cards. One, two, three, four. Probably going back to town. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll go back to town. We'll go to the temple. Heal two wounds. Um, I forgot. Potion can heal a wound. And we have no money, actually. So, bummer. Bummer. No money. We have all heroes and spells, so... One, two, three, four, five. This might be the last turn. Lib. Uh, nope. We're going to go to the guild hall. We're going to upgrade her twice. To level three. That's going to cost us six XP, but we got so much XP we don't know what to do with it all. Uh, I don't care about the rest of this. Yeah, we're not going to buy anything, so it doesn't matter. Two, three, four, two, three. Oh, and we can heal a wound. So that's one, two, three, four. All right, we're going live the fighter. He's going to have a bad, bad day here. Three, four, five, six. Wow, that's about the weakest I've ever seen. Not a great hand, to be honest. Oof. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, we will stay in town. We'll heal. We'll buy another fireball. Uh... And we'll go to the temple so we can place this on top of our deck and this. Uh, which means we wouldn't have enough to buy that. So we are two, three, four, five actually. Um, uh, sure, we'll buy another short bow. All right, time for the ass whooping to happen. Three, four, five, six. <sighs> wow, 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 what a combo. What a great draw this turned out to be. Holy crap, holy crap. You got Stormhand, which is... Level two, just enough to hold this. Five and five. Six points of damage. Then you got your elf with the bow, and that's another six points of damage. So that's 12. And then two more fireballs for six more damage. That's 18 damage. <laughs> Holy crap. That's about the best you can get. Uh, yeah, for sure we're going. Uh, do we have enough light? Yeah, two, three, four, five light. Plenty of light. Lib, it's just not your day, buddy. Sorry. Another treasure, more XP, and a potion. Oh, all right. Um, Lib, did you do any damage? You did do some damage to us. Good job. But all that means is the undead guardian has awakened. Smorgasbord.
Uh, let's read what happens. Dungeon rooms, dungeon phase, yada yada. All right. The final stage of the game triggers at the end of the turn in which the fourth guardian key is found. Flip the monster in the wilderness over to reveal the guardian key, as indicated. All players now draw six cards and then discard four. Each player will have one more turn, including the player who found the last guardian key. During this turn, the player may battle the guardian in the wilderness or may take a normal turn. Uh, shh, draw. All players now draw six cards and then discard four. Each player will have one more turn, including the player who found the guardian key. During this turn, the players may battle. Uh, sure. So I guess I draw six for my, uh, actually I draw five. five. Then I draw six. And then I discard four. Uh... Well, let's see what I have in my original hand. See, two bows. Uh, they can be held. One can be held by this guy. One can be held by this guy. Oh, yeah, we're going to. It's not going to matter. We're going to totally destroy. Totally destroy her. What is she? Where is she? Where is she? Right there. Eight hit points. Oh, my gosh. We can kill her twice, I think. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yes, we can kill her twice. Uh, we would get a reward, which is treasure cash. Wow. Obviously, I think the first scenario is sped up to be really easy. Obviously, um, but that was we were getting some really good draws with really good combos, so that was cool. But yeah, smorgasbord here, smorga, the queen. She put up no fight. Eight hit points. You better get better than that. Eight hit points. That was. I don't know how many turns it took us to get to that point, but good Lord, we were doing 16, 18 hit points of, or 18 damage, 16 damage there towards the end of the game. That's crazy. But uh, we ended up getting all the keys and killed the end boss. So that was good. I'll take it. I will take it for sure. Well, anyways, that's a look at the solo mode for Thunderstone Quest. If you have any thoughts, comments, or suggestions, let me know down in the comments section down below. I think I'd originally set this up. I was going to play two hands, and then I decided, nah, you know what? Let's just play it solo. So that's why there was some difference in the amount of keys that we had but uh, now comes the fun part got to sort all the cards back out and get them all organized so that goes there that goes there that goes there well we got rid of uh two four we got rid of all of our uh, nice little adventurers so that was good Uh, that's a starter key, starter card. 
Mm-hmm. That's a treasure. Mm-hmm. And another treasure. And another treasure. And another treasure. These enemies that give you treasures for free. It's like kill them and you get treasure. It's like wow, that's it's a different ball game than the old days. Here's another treasure we had. All right, let's see. Uh, that was a starter key. Do, 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 do. We got some really good draws, though. That always helps. Get some nice. Wow, how many treasures did we end up getting? Good lord. There's five more treasures right there. Plus the four that we already put away, right? We already... And this one, this one. Flying Death, yep. And that one, and this one. Good Lord, how many treasures did we end up getting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven treasures. Well... Okay. Dead, dead... Dead, dead. Boy, we were just mowing through these guys. All right. We had a lot of level threes that we killed. Not too many level ones, actually. Um. <laughs> had one level one. Two, three level ones. That's all we had with three level ones that we killed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There you go. All right, everything's put back. We just have to get it back in the box and we're done. All right, guys. Thanks to everyone for coming out. Appreciate it. That's a look at Thunderstone Quest. I've been having this on my table since... Saturday, so I, I wanted to get it done and taken care of so I can box it up and decide what if I'm going to keep going. If you guys enjoyed it and you want to see more, let me know. And we can bring you some more action. And uh, wait to hear what people have to say about it. All right, in the meantime, everyone have a good night, and we'll talk to you guys the next time. Thanks for watching, guys.